What's going on guys? It's your boy Tiny and I'm just sitting here relaxing, having a little bit of an ice cream cone. And welcome to the channel, Tiny James Cook. If you're new, subscribe, like, hit the bell, get the noties, you know the drill. And we're at you with a video on how this channel started, a hotel review, and the wife recently stayed at a hotel and it was garbage. And if it's garbage, I'm going to put it on this channel, so hopefully y'all don't waste your hard-earned money on this. And here you go. Enjoy Aaron's review. Hey guys, Aaron here. I'm Tiny's wife. Um... Most of you may know me by name, but not by face. I'm coming at you from Batesville, Arkansas with one of these fine hotel reviews. And let me tell you, this is my second room that I've got at this hotel. Um, first one, we checked in when we got here. Um, key card wouldn't work. The whole thing on the door was off and the batteries were exposed. Um, so you could just open it up without using a key card. I thought, oh, the lock still works on the inside. Went to see my dad at John 316 Ministries. Um, came back, my little brother was like, hey, we need to check that, make sure it really does lock. Thank goodness he was looking out for me because he could open it with it locked from the hallway. So talked to the front desk, of course I booked up, but somebody happened to leave this room early. Um, so they cleaned it up for me, got me a new room, locks, thank goodness. Um, Cause my little brother was really worried about that. So, we're just going to look at this room. It's not the best, but somebody paid for this trip for me and my brothers to come see my dad. So, I tried to save money because I knew gas was going to be expensive. So, you get what you pay for. A whole seventy-eight twenty for one room. And let me tell you, it's not worth much more than that. If that. So we'll just go through the room, see how we like it. I'll show you some stuff from my room. I'll tell you some stuff about my brother's room. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, first we have the bathroom here. It's not bad. I mean, it's their standard Super 8 bathroom. Um, my other room, the floor of the tub was brown. This one's just kind of a dingy grayish white. So that's nicer. Um, they did get me some more towels because apparently the person in here did use a towel. So, that's the bathroom. Not much. Standard hotel. Um, little closet. Hung up my dress for church tomorrow. This is a single room. I think it could be a double, but it's a single at this point. My brother's room is so much cooler than mine. Like, in my last room, I had it on 68 and it felt like it was 80 degrees in there. But this is a bed. It's just a single standard full-size bed. They did change the sheets for me and I told them I didn't need that extra blanket on top. So they just brought me a brown one. Um, not sure how much of this carpet you can see, but it's wonderful. I'm not sure it's ever been cleaned. Over here in the corner, not sure what's going on there, but um, it's nice. We do have a nice refrigerator, microwave TV, so. Little desk area. Lots of room for activities over here, though. Lots of room. Like I said, I think it used to be a double room, but now it's just a solo. That or it's missing a chair or something. Speaking of chairs, I do want to tell you about my brothers. Their chair, um, they have a desk. So they have that chair. Plus then they had a nice soft chair. I sat down in it, and as I was sitting down, my brother Austin was like, uh, you may not want to sit there. My arms kind of stuck to the arms of the chair. And it was like a cream colored chair that was supposed to be cream colored. It was probably as brown as that curtain over there. So, yeah, I'm like, why is that kind of, whoa, that's sticky. So it was fun. It was a fun time. Um, they do have a double room since it's both of my brothers. Um, I kept my stuff in there, thank goodness, while we were gone. Just because their room actually locked. So, like I said, you get what you pay for. We are in between a Ramada and a 
Comfort Suites. And then there's a Holiday Inn Express and Suites on the other side of Ramada. I definitely, if we come down here again to see my dad while he's in John 316 Ministries, we'll be staying at a different hotel. I just noticed there's all kinds of spider webs up there. That's great. We'll see how I sleep tonight. At least there's not rat chooch cheats or bed bugs. So I did watch her change the bed completely. So we'll see how I sleep tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, guys, that's my hotel room for tonight. Thank goodness it's just one night because I'd be like, um, can we get our money back so we can go stay in a different hotel? But we're leaving tomorrow after a service at Father's Day. Um, so it's just one night, thank goodness. But if we come back down here while, while my dad's still down here, we will be staying at a different hotel. And make sure of that. Or somebody else will be in charge of booking it. So, but I hope you guys like this review. I definitely, um will not be booking this hotel again. So if you're in Batesville, stay away from the Super 8. And there you have it. Another prime example of you get what you pay for. If you're traveling, you might as well just splurge and spend the extra money to be comfortable, in this instance, safe. And anytime we go traveling, we're gonna do a video just like this. If it's good, we're gonna talk about it. If it's trash, we're gonna talk about it. But I'll leave you with this, like always. Bye. Make good choices.